Beth Van Dyne, you're a freshman. You're coming, being a former mayor, um, working and helping others. Um, you've been studying the bill as well. What are you hearing back home? Well, I'll tell you, we've, again, being a former mayor of a, of a city that had almost 9,000 small businesses, we've been having roundtables. We've been doing business tours. I have the ability to be on the small business committee as well, and we've been listening to businesses across the country. I've even traveled and, and listened and had roundtables. We're hearing the same thing. Small business is the backbone of this community, the backbone of our country, and yet they seem to be the enemy of this administration. This administration is doing everything it can possibly do to crush small businesses. It will soon be, if, if this administration has its, its druthers, that only large businesses are going to be left. We look at the threat right now of the federal government in, in forcing folks basically not to go to work by competing and paying them more to stay at home. And now we look at this latest bill, which is taking the work requirement away which is going to further compound the issue. I tried to pass an amendment with the National Defense Authorization Act to look at vulnerabilities in the supply chain. Okay, supply chain is not just an inconvenience. It's crushing small businesses. But it's also a national security issue. This bill doesn't do anything to address that at all. In fact, it's going to be pushing more and more of those jobs overseas. So where we have a national security issue with our supply chains, with making sure that we're having manufacturing jobs and companies here, this bill is only pushing them away, which is going to f further our vulnerabilities. I look at um, what we're doing on the COVID front and how we have crushed businesses, how we're continuing to crush businesses, how in the wake of trying to open businesses back up, all we're doing is threatening them with increased corporate taxes, increased capital gains, increased inflation, and more supply chain issues. Again, I just find this, that the Biden administration is treating small businesses as if they're the enemy and doing nothing to help you at all, but doing everything to crush you. And basically, it's just to be able to um, fund and lift up socialist policies that at the end of the day are furthering government to an extent where it has impeded into our personal lives, our professional lives, like we've never seen in this country, at least. And while we may not have the votes to be able to stop it right now, being in the minority, it's my hope that we're preparing for recovery by taking back the House in 2022. You know, I'm on the Small Business Committee, and we had the Small Business Administrator um, uh, testifying be before us at a hearing. And I asked the Business Administrator, I said, you have all of these fiscal policies coming down from this Biden administration. You've got all of these fiscal policies. Can you tell me what the impacts are going to be on small business? Can you tell me what the impacts are going to be on the threat of the corporate income tax, on the, on the increase in the capital gains? I asked them all of those questions about what was in this bill. You know what our answer was? I don't know. And I said, if as the administrator for, the small, for SBA, you're the one who's supposed to be the advocate. You're the one who's supposed to be the champion of small businesses. If you are not advising this administration on these deals and what the impact will be on small business, who is? You know what our answer was? I don't know.